What I have in my hand is a clay bar. Doesn't look much like a bar, but uh, started out that way. Anyhow, there's some misunderstanding about what this product does. And one of the things I hear on a regular is using clay to get out scratches, There's swirl marks, things like that. Uh, and as you see right here, there's some scratches. And they're pretty, pretty deep. They're not real deep, but they're big enough to where you may see them on the camera. But I'll show you also there's some swirl marks, spider webbing over here on the top. Um, and I'll put that on the insert. You may see it on the insert. And some people believe that you can get swirl marks out with clay. And that's not the case, not at all. Matter of fact, you can put scratches in the paint with clay. So one of the things you wanna, the way you use it is basically you spray a lubricant. It's a clay lube detail spray. So it goes by many names. Uh, and then I always, always like to spray the clay, get it started. And you wanna spread it out to where it's flat and just lay it on the paint, go back and forth and work a small section. And you'll feel the paint get smoother. And if you can see right here, there's a little dirt on the surface of the paint. So basically what clay is doing is removing the dirt that didn't come out with the wash. So you have not only dirt, brake dust, pollution, uh, what else is out in the air? Uh, iron from maybe when the car is on the rail. Uh, there's different things that, that embed into the paint. So you wanna make sure that uh, you get it out. And the one way to do that is with the clay, washing alone would not get that out of the paint. And you want to do this before you do any kind of buffing or polishing on the paint because essentially what you're doing, if you don't get that dirt out, you're kind of rubbing it back into the paint. So it's actually causing more swirl marks, more scratches. So uh, that's what clay is designed to do, do is to be a... Actually, those weren't the scratches. Those were actually some... No, that's, they're gone. They're still here. There you go. Right there. See the scratches are still there. But clay is designed to be a deep clean, deep cleaning product. So if you can think of when you go to a spa and get the, your skin exfoliated, that deep cleaning, get those pores open. So that's what clay essentially does for you, for your paint. Uh, decontamination, you'll hear decontamination, what are some other words but those are that's one word that you'll hear a lot paint decontamination this is a mechanical way there's also a chemical product you can spray on the paint it's called an iron remover and different product different brands use different brand names they have but but it essentially is going to say ferrex iron something along those lines um, so as you can see those scratches are still there and I'm gonna work this area, then I'll give you a close-up of, of this area here. There's just light swirls, light scratches. And so let me print them. So one thing I had to do was fold the clay over so that if you saw the dirt in the paint, if you saw the dirt in the paint, in order to get to a clean section, the surface, you need to fold this over. So it's not as cold as it was this morning however when it's cold the environment is cold clay is hard to work with so you have to put it in your pocket hold it in your hand something like that to warm it up so to where to where it's easier to work with so uh, and still a little chilly and i'm in the shade not real chilly but enough to where it's still making it a bit of a challenge again you want to work section up and down side to side and you can like I said you can feel the surface getting smoother 
and again you have some dirt. So uh, it's not real bad. This this truck. Sometimes you it's bad enough, but uh, he does wash it on a regular basis. At least he had before I touched it. it you can tell he does take it to get it washed. So that helps keep cut down on the uh, build up, any kind of dirt build up. But you still would want to do a clay uh, at least once a year, maybe twice a year, depending on how the vehicle's being used, whether it's stored inside. Uh, so if you're not driving the car that much, it stays inside. Uh, clay is not necessary every time you wash it, every six months or every month. So you have to kind of gauge the paint. One way you can determine, kind of determine if it's time for a clay, you can put some, so a lot of people use a, a plastic bag, like a sandwich bag, you put that on your hand. And being that I have it on these gloves, my touch is amplified so I can feel here versus over here. And if, you're if you were close enough, you could actually hear my hand rubbing across the paint. You can hear like uh, a sandy, like a, as if I'm rubbing my hand against, against a piece of sandpaper yeah, versus over here. So that's one way you can test it is just take a plastic bag, sandwich bag or something like that. And just take a small section after you wash the car and just do it maybe on your A pillar, somewhere up there where you're not gonna get into the paint and cause more problems in terms of scratching. Or it's not gonna annoy you as much or it's be, gonna be easier to remove. But maybe use up here, this section, and then just rub across the paint. Just ever so slightly, you don't have to press, press hard. And you can feel it, you can compare it to your hand versus the plastic bag and you'll notice it. A difference so for whatever reason it's amplified when you have rubber or plastic so again clay bar is used for deep cleaning of the paint it will not remove scratches actually it can put in scratches so you would want to follow up this is a step you use before you protect the car before you polish the car uh, any kind of buffing, paint correction, stuff like that. So you wanna do a clay before you do any of that. So again, clay bar. It's, it's a great product to help keep your car clean. However, it will not remove scratches.